This is a four drive network attached storage device that I recently built running free NAS. I'm running four 500 gig Western Digital two and a half inch hard drives. I could probably fit four more of these enclosures for a total of 16 drives. Right now this is running RAID Z with these four drives comes out to about 1.5 terabyte of storage space with a one gigabyte network card. Here's the inside of it. It's running a little AS Rock motherboard with an integrated CPU, eight gigabyte of RAM, boots from a four gig USB drive attached to a USB to four pin header. You have room to add in a PCI Express 2.0 compatible uh, SATA card where you can add more drives in. You can see the little drive bay here it takes one one D plug or Molex type of power adapter and four SATA drive cables going to the motherboard. The reason I chose this motherboard is because it has four SATA channels on built into it so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to find a you know a four channel SATA external card. Add-in SATA cards are kind of expensive. Um, the cost of an add-in SATA card would probably double this uh, the cost of this unit. Um, the SATA the this the eight channel SATA card that I cards that I was looking at which was one of the lowest uh, PCI Express compatible cards was almost as much as this entire setup. I mean this is a 480 watt power supply. This is an AS Rock AMD uh, I believe it's a single core 8 gig uh, DDR3 1066 memory um, 4 uh, Western Digital 500 gig hard drives configured in a RAID Z uh, configuration through the free NAS. If you search the internet for the 4 bay network attached storage they're well over a thousand dollars. Some are even two thousand um, dollars. You know like Netgear or Linksys or D-Link. You know, they're way expensive. I could make this and make a profit off of it for uh, roughly around five hundred to six hundred dollars easily. It depends upon how many drives you want, how how what size you want. Okay, this case has six internal bays, and it has four external bays where you can pop the face of this off and add more drive bays in. The only limitation would be the motherboard. You you only have one PCI Express uh, expansion card and the cost of expansion cards are, are crazy. You can see it's uh, relatively quiet. It's got a CPU fan, a cooling fan on the back, a fan on the power supply, and another fan back here. Um, with this cover on, you really don't hear much of anything. It's not loud at all. I would like to thank Kickstarter for this project. Uh, actually, no, I would not like to thank Kickstarter for this project. This is a project that I put on Kickstarter to try to get funding and see how many people would be interested in it. And Kickstarter came back and said, we don't do those kind of projects. We don't do um, commercial off-the-shelf hardware running uh, open source software. We don't do those kind of projects. But yet, look at Oya.